ending of that chapter, though, that last page. Whew, my girl has returned to me, dude. Vivi, dude. She, has, she has good with her. It, it, it was amazing to see that last page and to know that my girl Vivi is on the move. It's just going to be so great to have her back in my life consistently. It's been too long, dude. It's been too long. Like, I know we've caught glimpses of her since New World has started, you know, around the beginning of New World. You know, we, she had that, that cover feature during, you know, the 500 million Barry Man arc, you know, early on. But... To actually have her back right now, just it, it really just brought a smile to my face to see that at the end of this chapter. But aside from that, the chapter really setting up, you know, Luffy and the rescue Sanji unit has moved off to Whole Cake. They're on their way over there. You know, the teams have been set and split up. Momo has decided to stay back at Zo and try and communicate with Zunisha. I'm really curious still to find out the secrets of, of what the fuck is going on with Zunisha and why he was sentenced, by whom, what the fuck that all ties to. So that was interesting. It's, it's good to see Momo hanging back really to to flesh that out and everything like that um my girl nami gets a new clean attack from god himself and the, the chapter as a whole you know frankie talking about making weapons to, to face off against kaido everybody you know divvying up and, and whatnot a lot of of comedy amongst the minks which i really like but basically we're we're setting out i really wonder if we're going to focus on luffy squad going to whole cake first or the the wano team and realistically i'm very hyped to see what zoro and, and law do in wano man i'm extremely hyped to see what zoro and law do in wano but aside from that just my brief thoughts on the chapter that that fucking ending got me man but aside from that i didn't have time to do a live reaction this week the reason being the second half of this video and what i really want to talk about is the fact that i'm actually going to be away um, until Sunday. I'm going out of town. I have to attend a funeral, which it, it, it really sucks. And that's also been a big reason why I haven't gotten to certain plans that I had for the channel, you know, in the last week or so. That plus spring season kicking off a lot of first impressions and stuff that I got to check out. So things will balance out next week once I get back. But here's what that basically means. I'm going to miss everything that comes out this weekend, which sucks. All the new projects that I have yet to see and do first impressions on. So when I get back, here's what we're going to do. Um... I get back on Sunday, I'll still try and do a Boku no Hero stream for episode 2 on Sunday. It'll just be later than the, than the first one that we did. And then I'll do the ReZero review and, of course, Tokyo Ghoul. You already know I'm never going to miss a Tokyo Ghoul read chapter. Um, it sucks that I won't be able to, to read the chapter when it comes out on Saturday because I'm going to wait and do the live reaction. But it is what it is. It is what it is. And then, as for, you know, everything else, um, I'm guessing I'm going to miss quite a bit. Of, like, I, I miss pretty much One Piece. Um, the rest of the chapters I'm not going to be able to do today, and then I'll be making up reviews for and first impressions for all the stuff that starts dropping that I have yet to see yet. So, you know, Kabaneri, um, Sakamoto, uh, Kuramakuro, uh, Flying Witch, I believe that's pretty much it as far as, and, and, and Kisnever. Uh, I pretty much, I think those five are everything that I'm really trying to check out out of what's coming up unless, you know, something else drops this weekend that I'm forgetting about. Oh, Netage is also dropping today, which I also want to review. So I'll definitely do first impressions and see what the, the schedule is going to be like, whether I do live reactions, reviews, or what have you for those series going forward. Um, but those will definitely come out on Monday or Tuesday of next week, uh, and I'll make those up. As far as everything that's already come out that, that I've incorporated to the schedule, you know, JoJo, Mayoiga, uh, et cetera, et cetera, uh, that drops this weekend, I will try to make all of those up. I don't know if I'll get to all of them. I might end up skipping, you know, some of the episode twos. Um, but we'll wait. We'll wait and see how it turns out when I get back. And aside from that, it sucks, man. I, I really don't want to have to to take this this brief hiatus, but I have to. And it's a very somber occasion. I, I, it, it fucking sucks. But I'll be back on Sunday and we'll go from there also thinking of doing as a matter of fact i'm pretty positive i'm going to be doing drunken live reactions for sakamoto um on the saturday ku will probably be joining me for that um so we'll we'll figure that out once i watch episode one um and see how that goes but yeah that's pretty much it just letting you guys know that i'm not going to be here so all the videos i missed i didn't get to do twin star yesterday i'm going to make that up as well and as far as the other projects that i've been trying to do the gintama grind um finishing up iron blooded orphans um and i also have a video that i need to to, to drop about unicorn uh re 96 uh talking about what my plans for that are as, far as all those go um we're gonna have to push those back to next week as well simply because of this and that's the reason they've been delayed um for the most part so with that said i'm out peace